scarification is the process of weakening the seed coat so that air and water can enter the seed more quickly, thereby speeding up germination. This pretreatment is only required for seed that has a tough seed coat. In this video, I'll show you several ways to scarify seed and show you how to remove the tails from seed like clematis. I'll also show you how to avoid damaging the seed embryo while scarifying. This is important because a damaged embryo will not germinate. The best method for scarification depends on the size of the seed. A file works great for large seed. A knife and nail clipper works for medium sized seed. And sandpaper is the best method for very small seed. Let's have a look at all of these methods. A file works well for large seed. You can use a triangular file or a regular flat file. If you're using a flat file, hold it at an angle so that the corner is making a V-shaped cut in the seed. You can put the seed on the table and run the file over it like this. But I find it easier to rest the file on the table and run the seed over the file. This way, round seed is less likely to go shooting across the room. You want the groove to be deep enough so that you can see the white inner seed, but you don't want to damage the inner part. This walnut is really hard and needs some more filing, but I'll do that later. You get the idea. For mid-sized seed, nail clippers work quite well. Use them to clip off a small amount of the seed coat so that you can see the inner part of the seed. You can also use a utility knife or an X-Acto knife. Here are some clematis seed. They need a slightly different treatment. First, I used a knife to cut off their tails. Some people feel that the tails will prevent seed germination, but my studies indicate that this is probably a myth. Nevertheless, the seed is easier to handle without tails, so I tend to cut them off. Clematis seed do not need to be scarified but I am going to use them to demonstrate how to scarify small seed. Take a sheet of sandpaper and lay it flat on the table. Place the seed on top. Now take a smaller piece of sandpaper and cover the seed. Gently slide the top sheet back and forth. After a couple of passes, you might need to move the seed back into a pile so you can scratch them some more. With small seed, I don't try to scratch them enough to see the inside of the seed. Their seed coat is not very thick and some minor scratches on the surface will usually do the trick. Let's have a look at some seed embryos. These are peanut seeds that have been split open. You can clearly see the embryo inside the red circle. Think of the embryo as a baby plant. It is usually small and located at the end of the seed that was attached to the mother plant. Here is a close up of the embryo. The rest of the seed is stored food that the baby plant will use when it grows. If you damage the embryo while scarifying, it will die and there will be no germination. So it is important to know which side of the seed to scarify. Our problem is that we can't open the seed to find the embryo. We need to know its location by looking at the outside of the seed. Here are some seeds that clearly show the location of the embryo. It is the white scar inside the black area. The scar is the point where the seed was attached to the mother plant. To scarify these seeds, stay away from the scar. Here are some sunflower seeds. This one is not as obvious. You might think the round end has the embryo, but when we look inside the seed, 
you can see the embryo at the pointed end. Here is a nice collection of seed. I'll look at these and use arrows to point to the one I'm talking about. This seed has a very obvious scar and that will be the point where the embryo is located. The second seed has a point at the bottom and again that's the position of the embryo. So when you scarify you want to scarify the round end. This large seed in the center has a little indentation indicating the presence of the embryo. This little seed over here also has an indentation making the embryo quite obvious. But now let's have a look at some seeds where it's not so obvious. This white seed is completely round, doesn't have any indentations and no points and it's really not clear where the embryo is. The same with this last seed. I would have no idea where the embryo is. On seed like this, I try to scarify in different spots in the hopes that some of the seed will germinate. As long as I don't damage the embryo and all the seeds, I should have germination for this plant. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more garden videos, check out my channel below and press the red subscribe button. Thank you.